Let's talk about the episode. Let's talk about the episode. So, Gwen, 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 we start with you first. Now, Gwen, like Ava said, and I don't agree with her, and she got a whole lot of nerves judging you for what you did. But look, look, but look at what she did to Ray because Ray was cheating on her and lying to her. But that's besides the point. Gwen, now you got the woman talking like a baby. What's next? You going to give her a rattle in the crib too? I just want to know. What's your off button and when is your stop button? And when when when, when does it stop for you and when is your off button for you? That's what I want to know from you at this point. You then switch the th the serms. You got the woman talking like a baby. Talking about so are you my mommy? You my mommy, of course. Got Tony thinking Got Tony thinking um well, you thinking Tony is Mickey. <laughs> when is it going to stop? At this point, Gwen, I'm kind of, at this point, I'm kind of rooting in Chen for Chen that this actually worked out for you at this point because how pathetic and how low can you go? Basically, even though, even though I am kind of mad at Ava, she had the audacity and the nerves to judge you after what she didn't did to Ray. But then again, Ava get points and Ava I feel sorry for her because it is kind of messed up that she was lied to all those years and a girl had to do what a girl had to do when it comes to her cheating boyfriend and her cheating best friend so I, I, look I can't really fault Ava for that but for you Gwen like Ava said Sarah ain't do nothing to you in fact Sarah don't even much know you Depending on what Sarah we talking to, she she only must know you like that. Not only did you then screw with the girl physically, now you done mess with the girl mind that she thinking she a whole baby. Like when when do it stop for you? Like when? I guess when you get everything you think you entitled to at this point, you did all this just to hold on to a man. I really, really hope it was worth it for you. And I hope wherever your soul is, it come grabs you and make and knock some sense into you and tell you that you ain't got to do all that just to keep a man. At this point, you just digging several holes for yourself. We don't know if you're going to come out from the left, the right, the front, or the back at this point. You already know how weddings go in Salem, right? If you don't know, go back and watch Steve and um, Marlena wedding. If you don't know how weddings go, go back and watch um, Marlena, Sarah, John and Marlena, Sarah tips of getting married. Go back and watch Ava. I mean, go back and watch Steve and Kayla wedding. In fact, go back and watch Abigail and Chad wedding. You got several weddings to rehearse and watch how all of them went bad. Since you want to get married and you think you didn't got the guy... Go ahead and get married. I promise you, while you calling Abigail and going to see Abigail, thinking, oh, I want to make her my matron of honor. We is basically stepsisters anyways, and, you know, I'm trying to be there for you. I'm trying to make my... Abigail, she get to the, the devil out of you. The H-E double hockey sticks out of you. I don't care if that'll make God Almighty himself happy. After all the stuff she didn't did to you, after all the torture she and hell she didn't put you through, and I'm supposed to stand there beside you on the happiest day of your life. Being fake and phony and watch you walk down the alley. And I just want to sit there with a fake smile and grin on my face and watch you walking down the aisle. Even though you came into town with revenge on your mind towards me and my family. And I thought to be that. Abigail, that was fake. I, I'm, that was fake. I, I, look. I will make Jack happy another day at another time. I couldn't, if I was you, I wouldn't have told Gwen, yes, you know to be in her metric and honor. But then again, this work out for our favor.
You know why this work out for our favor? Leo and Gwen know each other from the past. He a schema and the canary and all that. Gwen, we already know where the Gwen and the Leo stuff going at. But anyways, though, let me tell you why. When I thought about it and I realized... And I was calling Abigail out of my mind saying, Abigail, that's kind of fake. Now, now, why would you do that? Why, why, why would you say, yeah, you were doing so right telling her, no, 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 it's not going to happen. No, I'm not coming to your wedding. I'm not. You, you was doing so good with the no's and no, I can't do that. Then somehow she got you with the, oh, the dad thing and seeing us together and seeing us happy. We can try to bond and make our dad We'll make Jack happy some other time. Right now, I, I, that that's too fake. But then again, when I thought about it, I said, you know what? Abigail is my Nancy Drew. Abigail is my murder she wrote. Abigail is all the crime detectives on TV and off TV and retired ones. And we already know with Abigail being that close to the wedding, Abigail going to end up finding some things, some things that Gwen don't want Abigail to find. We already know how persistent and irritating Abigail already is when it comes to putting on her investigator hat. So you know what? I thought about it and I said, yeah, go ahead. Go, yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Be a part of the wedding. Be fake. You know, this a good cause kind of fake because we already know her guard going to be down. You going to have in your investigator cap. We know if she leaves something laying around that wasn't supposed to be for your eyes, we know you going to find it. And we gonna, you going to put two and two together and realize something something stinks here. Basically, you already gave us a hint, hint, warning, warning that, okay, I agree to do it. Basically, Gwen getting everything she want. Unfortunately for Sarah, she's nine. So we already know you going to go in there with the detective hat on. And we looking forward to you having your detective, your detective hat on. Well, we can go ahead and get Gwen on out of here. At least give us a little satisfaction of knowing that, you know what? I kind of still want her for the Sarah stuff. But I kind of want her for the whole Sarah, the mass thing. I, I kind of want Gwen for that because she was too arrogant and cocky for my liking. Even though it would be, you know, kill two birds with one stone. It all lead up to each other with the whole mass thing. And now, I want the mass stuff to come out first. Because that'll sit Gwen down and that'll shut her up and all that arrogant and cocky she was being. And we already know Abel will flip on her. So, you know what? Go ahead and be fake, Abigail. I thought about it and I realized it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and be fake. Be fake. Find out what you need to find. Grab grab the evidence you need to grab to convict, to convict Gwen of what she didn't did and stuff that's leading up to this wedding and the mass thing and everything else she didn't did that she didn't slip on swept under the rug. So go ahead. Maybe we can even get even more. Maybe we can even get a bonus and we can go ahead and solve that um that doctor story when she was around here being a drug mule. Maybe we can go back that far and catch up for drugs too when she was around here selling drugs. Maybe we can get her for that too. So go ahead, Abigail. Be fake. Um, Sonny. Sonny, when I saw you Tuesday, I said, oh Lord. We already know Victor looking for somebody to hold that CEO seat of Titan. When I saw you and I saw Victor talking, I said, oh, Lord, son, if it'll be CEO or Titan again, I, I, I don't know what it is about child kids and these CEO positions that you know how they're going to control y'all, manipulate y'all while y'all be signing. You will be a fool to take that CEO or Titan seat again. You will be an idiot. You better tell your grandfather no and take your behind back to Phoenix with your with your husband and your daughter and enjoy your life in Phoenix. 
if you are if you on route to on route your life for fit the one more time, whatever fit to do to you this time, I'm sitting back laughing at your behind. Now you will be a total fool and a total idiot to take that CEO position and he already in I already know Sonny finna make me mad about that Titan CEO position and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't know what it is about y'all kids and y'all adults about these CEO positions. You living a great life without it, but then they come sneaking in, promising you the world and the stars, and y'all, okay, Victor, I'm in. Now, why would I uproot my great life doing something I'm passionate about, something my mother died about, and uproot my life to go work for a devil? So, do you really not care about your happiness, or you will plan on working for the devil the rest of, the rest, the rest of your life? Son, if you all root your life, whatever bit to do to you next, I promise you I'm straight laughing on the next video when I talk about you. Y'all gonna have to excuse me, but I ain't had enough of son to BS when it came to Titan in that CEO position. And Sonny, take that CEO position. Sonny, I'm laughing at you. When he get through using and abusing you, enough is enough. You seen Brady finally and got over it over the years. If you take that CEO position and uproot your life from Phoenix to come back to Salem knowing Leo Stark in Salem and knowing that you left because of him and because of your mama died and because you want to do something a cause towards your mama if you uproot your good life to come back to work for the devil there's something mentally wrong with you sonny. Mentally. I'm hoping and praying that we'll tell you absolutely not. I'm pro I'm hoping and praying so we'll we'll put his feet down and tell you no. If you go back to the Victor, I'm leaving you. So I'm hoping we'll so we'll give you an ultimatum somehow, somewhere. Somebody got to think since you can't think and you've been offered a big old position that you can't resist. Something is wrong with you. Mentally, Sonny. Mentally. Um, Xander, you won't get back your Sarah. It might take a little moment. You might find out some things. You might realize some things. But you're going to get your Sarah back in due time. You're going to get her back and you're going to leave Gwen, Gwen wrist, wrist check where she had. So, um, that Bell boy, you really love Sean, don't you? I literally never, ever on the soap opera ever seen somebody so heartbroken and devastated in my life that one minute they're talking to their dad, the next minute they. And falling all on their dead, dead about to like they about to pass out and hit the boy. After all these years, Jan finally got one up on you, and it seemed like you in kind of distress. Now I said I will leave Sean for eighteen years and then come back once the child grown, but that's just me. I'm not telling you to leave your husband for many years and let that demon win from prison. She really got you stressed out and stressed and scroped out, don't she, um, Belle? That's just me. I wouldn't deal with Jen and Sean and that baby. I'm not telling you not to fight for your man and fight for your husband. I'm speaking for myself here, Jen, um, Belle. But my God, Jan really got you going through it with this whole baby thing. The way you about passed out and fell out about not John down. The way you ran to him about like you went to a trip, then he caught you. I'm like, Jan got you going through all that? Between the high school stuff, now y'all adults. I thought you could handle anything Jan can throw at you at this point. Jan got you scratched out, falling out, about to mess your face up, about to, you know, knock a couple of teeth out your head. I mean, Jan got you going through the ringer. 
She's not going to have that much control over you, Bill and Sean, if you wondering. Like somebody pointed out, and I, one of my favorite viewers, they told me that Jerry ain't going to have that much control over that baby in prison. So, that's just me speaking. I wouldn't put up with it, but I'm not telling you to leave your relationship and let her win from the prison bars. She got you going through it, though. That's all I'm saying. I ain't going to give you too much, Bill. You got to snap out of it and get, keep your man if you want your man. Because look like now you on the ropes and Jan and the TKO'd you about three times already. You better, auntie, you better knock her back out. Get back out there and fight for your man or something. Because Jan really got you on the ropes. Literally, she got you on her robes. And you let that hand count the 10 you want to. You gonna be out. That would have looked like she didn't you didn't went 20. You didn't went 10 rounds with her. And now you on the ropes exhausted and don't know what to do. You don't know whether to keep fighting or give up and throw in a towel and give her the belt, which is your husband. Um can somebody please with some brain cells? The Hortons, the the Hortons, the the Williams family, the um the Williams, the Hortons, the um Brady's. Can any of y'all put y'all two brains, these brain cells together, and realize that the devil is still there? If that cake wasn't hint, 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 hint to y'all. I don't know what to tell y'all at this point. I'm all, sometimes I don't like soap operas. Like, y'all, they have y'all playing so slow at time, and then they hit y'all back, y'all brains, and all of it start to make sense all of a sudden, y'all. Like, y'all slowly get it. If that cake didn't tell y'all the devil is back, I don't know what to tell y'all at this point. I mean... Chanel might be the one that cracked this case because Chanel said that was the same thing Johnny said to her, the same thing Ellie said to her. The devil is arrogant and cocky. Come on, somebody with brain cells, please figure it out. I'm not going to get the devil stuff too much of my attention tonight. But somebody, please figure it out. Somebody, anybody besides Chanel or Chanel, figure it out, please, since they're not smart enough to realize it. I wish I would cut a cake open that supposed to be a red on having a, a boy of a girl. It's supposed to be blue or pink, and then it come goose and not go um come ooze and not red. And I don't call Ellie the devil right away. I wish I would. But y'all not smart enough because they got y'all playing crazy right now. Once y'all put y'all thinking counts on, y'all will figure out that Ellie is the devil again. Well, y'all have figure out the devil is back in his alley this time around. So, hopefully y'all have figure it out. Um, Gabby versus Ava. Now, Gabby, I enjoyed it. I, I, I enjoyed it and I love watching you squirm. Not you the one that's mad and upset and in your feelings. When you the one got played and made an ass out of yourself by the devil and the devil's help, you then kicked your whole relationship for the, to the curve for a whole CEO position that you're not going to hold very long, then kicked the man to the curve. Now he didn't move though. Now he got another woman stand with him. Now you man upset and in your feelings. Not you, Gabby. Now, what type of sense do that make? Not only did you kick the man to the curb, got what you wanted, he was left with nothing. Then you had the devil beat the man up and then kick him out. And now you mad at the man you kicked out that didn't get nothing from the bargain. You mad because he's entertaining another woman. And now you want redos and do-overs. And he really not here for that and not trying to give you that type of time. Not you mad that he's moving on with Ava or not. Not you the one that's mad that was kissing that man nephew going down, down at the Mara family tree. Not you the one that's mad at the one that made all these decisions and the one that did all this and you know did your little chest. Not you the one that's mad. I wanna know why you so mad all of a sudden. 
You got everything you wanted. Why are you so mad? Jake got nothing out of the Demerida. Jake got beat up and kicked out and you dumped him. Now why are you mad that he's moving on whether it's with Abel or not and Abel will stand with him? Why are you so upset? Don't you want to go kiss Johnny again? The devil? I just want to know why you so upset and mad. You should be the happiest person in Salem. You got everything you wanted and more. Why are you so mad? Can you please help me understand, Gabby? Is this thing called karma that came back and finally bit you in your behind and now you don't know how to act? You done lost your husband. You're about to lose the mirror all over again and it's going to be out. So why are you mad that Jake moving on? Oh, you thought you were going to kick him to the curb once you do what you want to do. You know you, oh, you thought he was going to be back up in case things go left. You got him to, oh, so you wanted him to be a backup singer. Oh, so if things didn't go out with you and Johnny, you was planning on using him and go back to him, pretend like, oh, ain't nothing happened. We back good. I love you. I love you, Jake. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Ava did everything right, and Ava played you the way she's supposed to play your behind. You did the same thing to her when you was when she was staying with Rafe. Remember how you was all on her case, wouldn't leave her alone, kept on bothering her. Rafe had to tell you to leave her alone. Now, guess what? Ava got you back, and she sat there and played that, and Jake didn't say nothing. Once he got tired of you babbling about it, he shut her up. But, honey, he, she got hers back, and Jake got his back, too. And he had fun kicking you out, even though he still cared for you, and he might end up getting you back eventually. I bet you that felt good for both of them, that they were both able to get you back at the same time and watch you sit there confused and look lost, wondering, how can I gain for this situation? What can I gain for this situation? And how can I start them from making me look like a fool, but you ended up looking like a fool the whole time? I know you feel foolish, um, Gabby. I knew, I knew you felt foolish, and I ain't going to take you no word of lie. I enjoyed every last bit of it because you kind of deserve that. We told you, that, I told you the devil was going to make a behind out of yourself. You didn't want to believe nobody. You want to do everything you want to do to get that CEO position. Now that you got it, now look at you. But anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night, and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.